Where's the best spot to stand? Um, that's fine there. I'll go ahead and set the timer, though the meeting will likely adjourn in your I'll just continue my speech if we run out of time. Um, so we're discussing an emergency declaration. In these times, we want to balance safety versus freedom and liberty. <clears throat> Through the chair to member Perez Verdia, if you'd like updates, it requires your presence and not being late to the meeting. You are the chair of the Public Safety Committee, correct? See, we the citizens of Alaska don't like giving up our rights to government, to govern our own lives. So in here it shows that we can charge people with a crime, a Class B misdemeanor, under Anchorage Municipal Code 8.30.015. Failure to follow an order during a civil emergency. And that can be given on page nine of your packet by the fire chief or his designees, by the police chief or his designees. No body cameras, though. So how are we to ensure that liberty is upheld? Avalanche mitigation is done 365 days a year all around the globe. You didn't consult with any ski resort directors Anything like that? One avalanche director, are you kidding me? Snow hauling, a non-competitive bid given to a mayor's political donor, McKenna Construction. There's plenty of companies that do snow haul around the municipality of Anchorage. They do it every night, all winter. At the state level, we're giving up authority to the governor, right? Because even like the municipal attorney said, we're concerned about the boundaries. We don't know where the municipal land ends and starts. That's a concern. And you're declaring a civil emergency and giving up power to 400 and I think 29 tyrants at the APD last count. We don't know where we're getting the money. You all said you've been shelling around money between different accounts, between the area wide general fund, which by the way, not knowing the balance of that is a disgrace. Real accountants know their numbers. Fire your CFO if he doesn't know the numbers. It's insane. You guys are managing a $550 million budget. You've had all this COVID money passed through your hands and you continue to move around money against the will of the people. You cannot kick people out of their homes against their will. People have the right to property. You can't violate that. People have the right to liberty. You can't violate that. Just because you're declaring an emergency over an avalanche. I know this is a small area, but this is a precarious position. We fought against this for two years. And five of you are up for re-election right now. There's going to be a reckoning in this year's election. Thank you.